Republicans calls for the director of the Secret Service to be removed. She should be fired. She uh, should have been fired Saturday night. Growing louder. What does it take to get fired by Joe Biden? It was an absolute security catastrophe. I'm prepared this morning to call on President Biden to to fire uh, to Director Cheadle. Tensions running high after GOP senators say top Secret Service and FBI officials ignored their questions on private briefing calls held Wednesday on the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. Kimberly Cheadle was on that, that call. Yes. The call was yes. cut as the questions in the queue were lining up. That's right. The senators confronting Director Cheadle at the RNC. This is exactly what we were doing today this on the call. Stonewalling. No shame, no control. She can run, but she cannot hide. On the calls, lawmakers were given a timeline of events. At 510, law enforcement identifies the shooter as a person of interest. At 552, snipers spotted the gunman on the roof. At 602, security allows Trump to take the stage. Take a look at what happened. At 612, the shooter opened fire. <laughs> Director Cheadle also slammed for the excuse she gave ABC News as to why snipers were not on that rooftop. That building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest point. Um, and so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be con considered there that we wouldn't want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. FBI officials gained access to the gunman's laptop. He reportedly also looked up the dates of the Democratic National Convention, as well as the Trump rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The FBI says they have yet to find any indication the gunman had strong political views that motivated the attempted assassination. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.